Yeah. There is another one. This is mainly focused on existing houses that have problems with damp mold nose and positive ventilation. It basically pumps air into your house and that stale air goes out through wherever it can find its way out through wall vents, trickle vents, gaps and doors out the chimney. It's typically done for houses, uh, I know a lot of them being done in the UK, council houses that suffered from damp or mold problems etc like that to try and cure it because they didn't have enough ventilation. It's just a unit that sits up in the attic, takes in the air from the attic, filters it, of course you don't want nasty fiberglass being blown all around your house. Um, so it takes that in and it blows out just through a central thing, just typically in the top of your stairwell or in your hallway, just to ensure that there is a flow of air going through the house. Yeah, so there's animations and stuff to go with, replaces, displaces and dilutes the air inside in the house. Yeah. Um, yeah. The manufacturers of these claim, oh, it can save you heating because you know, your attic is typically warmer than the rest of your house. Well, crawling around my attic last week fitting the security system, I can tell you my attic was certainly a lot hotter than my house. It was a sunny day, but uh, it was quite toasty up there. And if there was one of them units there, it would be taking that heat from the attic. And basically, almost your roof is acting like a solar collector, heating up, why is that moving? Heating up the air in this space here, and then being pumped down into your house. So there is a, a slight gain to be made from it that way, but it's not its primary function. Um, and that usually in the winter when you need to heat your attic in the fridge. Exactly. <coughs> but you still need a ventilation. Right, the things are always variable speed anyway, so you set them according to your house. Uh, but you know, the other day it wasn't a it wasn't particularly hot day outside, it was just a bit sunny. Um, also a case for moving heat, especially in a two-story house, as we all know, heat rises. So nice and warm up around the ceiling, that's fine for the flies walking around up there, not so great for us sitting down here. So it forces that warm air down as well to, to our level. Now, in reality, it really mixes it up and dilutes it more than just forces down a warm layer. Um, so, it eliminates or reduces condensation, mold problems, reduces radon, uh, provides clean filtered air. It is filter unit which filters any of the air. Uh, benefits asthma because you are in hay fever because you don't have dust or pollen, etc., like that. Quite operation, relatively good efficiency. So, any questions on them? So they're typically more units for existing houses with damp or mold problems. Oh, Alrighty, but it is another ventilation option. Can be fitted into a new house as the ventilation system though. What's the running cost of that? That's a great question. Now I consider great questions ones that I don't have the answer for off the top of my head. <laughs> um, I think they're typically maybe between 30 and 20 and 30 quid a year, something around that sort of range. Obviously it depends inside the house, how, how high you've etc, or rather how low you've etc, etc. So they're relatively low cost versus, I suppose, the marketing people would say, versus repainting because of the mould and the damp and the change in the curtains because of the mould and damp, etc. Like I said, many of the councils in the UK have used them you know, just widespread right across all the range of houses because of damp and mould problems to cure that. It just says there are reducing radon, so it's mm. it could be... Well, it, it, it can reduce it in terms of making sure that there is ventilation moving through the house, but it's not to deal with radon. Okay. I will not say that any ventilation <laughs> device can be used to reduce radon, to reduce to eliminate radon. <coughs> I, I'll take your word for it if you've read I'm it literally. Sure. I, I haven't. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. But they are real, they're all very low powered. Well, typically, sorry, another thing that's usually in these as well is um, a very small electric heat or maybe 100 watts that will pulse. And to, so to say it was absolutely freezing up in your attic just to take that very cold chill out, maybe heat the air up to 10 degrees. 